You will need watercolors, collage paper, glue, scissors, and a pencil. Begin by filling your paper using watercolors. Imagine all of the colors in the sky if you are seeing the northern or southern lights. Once your sky is dry, you are going to start creating your landscape with collage. Collage is when we cut or tear paper and glue it down to create a picture. I am going to tear paper to create mountains and hills. I really love how the uneven lines created by tearing really look like natural shapes. I like to layer up three or four different pieces of paper, maybe using different colors, to create a mountain landscape. I like to put my paper down before I start gluing, just to see what it will look like and where I need to put it. best to put the glue around the edges of the paper you're gluing down so it doesn't start to curl up again. So I put that first paper a little bit too high. I need to scooch it down a little bit while the glue is still wet. Oops, so I have a little piece of my paper showing through and I can't move that back paper down. Not a big deal. I'm just going to take a little piece of purple paper. And make a little patch. So as we're layering our mountains, we learn something about making space on a piece of paper. The higher something is on your paper, the further away it is from you. So that first purple mountain I glued down is farther away than the piece of purple paper I just glued down. That is a way we can make space on a flat piece of paper. Now you're going to take another piece of paper. I chose black because I want to make silhouettes. A silhouette is when something has light behind it, but not in front of it, so it appears as if it's black. We see that a lot at sunset because the sun is starting to go down, so it's starting to go behind things. I am cutting different shapes or rather different sizes of triangles, which are a really simple version of pine trees. If we see the northern lights at the North Pole, there are lots of pine trees there, and I thought that would be a nice addition to add some details on our mountains. I'm 
cutting another little strip to make little rectangles that will be the trunks of the trees. And so another trick about making space on paper that we can learn here is that the closer something is to you, the bigger it's going to be. When things go farther away from us, they get smaller because they are farther away. So I'm putting my biggest triangles at the bottom of my page to show that they are the closest to me. It's okay if we see a little bit of the glue peeking out. Remember, this white glue will dry clear. It is a little bit hard to glue such small shapes, so it might look a little bit messy when it's wet. Now I'm going to glue my smallest triangles on the mountain that is the furthest away from me. The trees are smaller because they are farther away. So now you're going to let your collage dry, and there you go.